just got to love harvest time in your garden if you garden during the summer months and what I have here 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 are some heirloom tomatoes and that's just the color they go they're gonna be that is tomatoes as they're meant to be when you when you smell them you get that tomato smell and these are some grape tomatoes I have here this is the fiery stuff we won't be using that today it's all about tomatoes from my garden those heirlooms mm, nice as well as those grape tomatoes they're very sweet this is a recipe that doesn't require a recipe basically we're doing a tomato salad nothing Caribbean about this but stuff out of my garden always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen guys let's make a recipe without a recipe tomato salad you'll need a couple of different types of knife I'm using a, a small paring knife as well as a serrated knife and the serrated knife is basically I just don't want these guys flying all over the place first we're gonna take the sharp edge go down the center and then we're just gonna pretty much take off that stem and I like different textures as well as for presentation it's gonna look nice so with these ones since they're a little bit smaller I'm just gonna go into quarters so nice big quarters and again same idea you just go ahead poke that down go into a circle pull that out and then you would quarter it you can leave the seeds in there if you want I quite like it if you want to remove the seeds all you would do is take that sharp knife and dig them out but I love the seeds in there for the bigger heirloom tomatoes again and these are so tender and juicy but firm it is wow talk about a lovely aroma and again using the serrated knife I get some maybe about quarter inch slices out of them and some of you are probably watching this and saying Chris is using green tomatoes that's just the way these heirlooms roll man they roll green the other thing I wanted to quickly show you these little grape tomatoes they're good exactly the way they are but I like giving it just by the stem here just a little triangle cut like that and what that does is it gets some of the flavor from the olive oil and salt and it starts bleeding through and all the sweetness from there is going to really help the salad come together that's just my take on things I like just breaking them open a little bit so I've got all my tomato in a large bowl here and when you're working with these you really want to be gentle because you don't want to break them up and I'm going to go in with a healthy dose of sea salt. You will see a lot of people usually go for some like a, a vinegar to go in here. Personally, I do not like vinegar, so I would go in with some fresh lemon juice. And this is really going to add a nice citrus kick to it as well and brighten everything up. And because I'm using this citrus, I'm going to finish it off with some olive oil just to help balance things. I've got here some red onions, sliced very thin, and this is an optional ingredient. Just remember, <laughs> your bread will be kicking after. And I know I'm not, <laughs> usually, I wouldn't add anything spicy to this this is good to go as it is here some black pepper and as I said some olive oil but I've got these lovely white habanero peppers and I have been talking about them quite a bit lately I'm gonna go in with some of these sliced up in there but again totally optional and it is gonna become very spicy with that so in goes some fresh ground black pepper nice dose of that and as I said, I've got that white habanero pepper going in there to really kick this up. Something is missing. We need a sort of a herbal note to bring this all together. Let's go in the backyard and see what we can find. We pretty much have three options and this is option number one, fresh mint. But mint is not my thing. I tend to think about chewing gum whenever I put mint into anything and it is raining out here so I'm just trying to make this as quick as possible in the back of all of this Jamaican Callaloo that there is basil fresh basil just gonna pickle a couple of these out and again basil is another one of those herbs I I just don't like 
for me, the third option, flat leaf Italian parsley. And this is one of the things I love about summertime in Canada here. I grow all my fresh herbs. So I'm just going to get a nice bunch to add to the salad. So we ended up with some wonderful flat leaf parsley. And I know a lot of people are thinking, boss man, that basil would have been better to go in there, you know. But it's been washed. Basil just isn't my thing, so I'm just gonna give that a rough chop. I'm just gonna go in with that lovely parsley in there. I'm just gonna toss that a little bit and then we're gonna finish off with that olive oil. If you want to go in and finish off with some balsamic at the end, you can certainly do that as well. Balsamic, not my thing. Anything in the vinegar family, eh eh, no friend of mine. So I've added some goat cheese. I just happen to have some goat cheese in the fridge there. And we're just gonna go on with a nice healthy drizzle of good cold pressed olive oil. And that's it. I am eating good tonight. If only I had a grilled steak or something. But guys, it's vegetarian. It's gluten free. It's from my garden. It's heirloom tomatoes. It got a little kick from that scotch bonnet pepper. Uh, whew, scotch bonnet. Listen to me. The white habanero peppers. The onion. Finished it off with that goat's cheese and the olive oil. Remember I said you can also go in with some balsamic if you want. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com tomato salad recipe without a recipe. Be creative. You want to add some walnuts in there? Go for it, man. Check out CaribbeanPod.com and don't forget on my website. I have my cookbook on sale now. Support your boy. Have a good one, guys.